Hey everyone, welcome to the vlog. I just got a new GoPro as a birthday gift. Um, so my vlogs are going to get a lot nicer looking. I have no idea if I'm going to upload in 4K, but I now have the ability to shoot 4K. I just need to get a micro SD card for this thing. So this will be the last vlog you see in this quality. Stabilization should be better in the future as well as just the overall image quality and uh, yeah that should be great. Today I just want to show you guys a couple of interesting things I've found uh, in my travels slash record collecting. Uh, <laughs> uh, I do a lot of these record collection videos. These are some bizarre sort of one-off little things. Uh, I found this uh, I believe at an antique market in Seattle. Uh, record disc from 395 Broadway, New York City. Oh, I guess that's just the company that made this. It doesn't necessarily mean it was made in New York City. But if you look, it's a, it's a recording from Sharon at seven years old in 1945. I have played it. Uh, miraculously, this thing doesn't skip too much. It's just one-sided. Uh, I have no idea why there's a second spindle hole here. That would be wildly off-center. Um, I just wish I had a last name on this so that I could see if I could contact someone. Because someone, you know, who'd be seven years old in 1945, if they're still around, would be 81, if my math serves me correctly. And yeah, this is basically just... Sort of, I don't know if I don't if Sharon's the father or something had a recording studio, or if they just went, or if this was just a, a a thing the recording studio did for some reason. It's just a little, basically message, little interview with this girl that would have been a cool keepsake for her and her family. How it wound up in a bargain bin of singles in a uh, store in Seattle, I will never know. Um, this is not. Victor Herbert's all-time hits. Um, this is just the sleeve they have chosen to put this in. Just found this today at my at a value village here. This is C Fun 1410, which was a, a radio station in Vancouver. It's a recording of Bobby Breen singing "It's a Sin to Tell a Lie." June 1936, at the age of eight. Initially, I thought it was the same thing as this, like somebody's kid, like as a gag, recording something. Looked up Bobby Breen. Oh, I did not mean to touch the actual record there. Uh, I'm looking through my viewfinder right now. Um, so I thought, like, Bobby was just some kid in the recording studio that they made a recording for, but no, I didn't realize Bobby Breen is actually a... He was a child star back in the 30s. And um, this is from a radio broadcast uh, from Vancouver, B.C., where I'm from. Uh, I looked up Bobby Breen. The age is correct. In June of 1936, he would have been eight. This is double-sided. On this side, you've got uh, It's a Sin to Tell a Lie. And then on this side, we have a beautiful thing for Jack Cullen's record store. you got Rainbow on the River, December 1936, at the age of eight, which... I think by December of 1936, he actually would have turned nine if the Wikipedia article showing his birthday is accurate. Uh, I'll be playing this one for sure. Um, this one I don't know about just because... I don't know. Even though it's a seven-year-old girl named Sharon who like may or may not have relatives that would be able to identify who this is. I still think there's like a slight privacy issue with putting that up on YouTube. I don't know. I, but I'll never I'll, I'll just never be able to locate the family. All I have is 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 a is a first name to go by. So unless you're somehow miraculously looking at this video and you recognize this, uh yeah, you'll never know that. But I'll definitely be listening to this Again, I run into an issue where I can't make it sound very good right now. I'm just guessing that since this is from 1936, it's with the old school, larger grooves. Yeah, you can even tell just by looking at it. These are the larger grooves. This will be a 78. Um, 
it doesn't feel like it's made out of shellac at all. It's 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 not, which makes the date of 1936 perplexing. I assume it spins at 78, and I assume my needle will not be particularly great at um, at getting a good fidelity out of this. You would need one of those special. Uh, uh, you need a different needle to play. 78s because the grooves are just wider. All right, it would appear it is moment of truth time. Pay no attention to the Woodstock soundtrack. It's just what I was listening to before. I am going to try to see if I can get any sound out of this. Couple of complications. First of all, I do not have the correct needle. And second of all, I'm playing it through a laptop because I just don't have a, a speaker hooked up to it right now. I usually listen through headphones. Um... I imagine that we'll get some sound out of it, but it will not sound very good. Let's see. Also, not 100% sure of the speed. I'm guessing 78. Wow. So forgive me for talking over this, but, uh... Well, I was gonna say I'm trying to avoid a copyright claim, but I would imagine I probably won't get one out of this recording. I have no idea. Alright, that sounds significantly better than I was expecting it to. It would sound even better if I had the proper needle, but whatever. Just gonna do a quick play of the second side. Not gonna play the entire thing, not gonna bore you with that. Uh, I suppose I could upload it somewhere. I could upload it in a separate video. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to play out the entire side in, in a better way with a more direct audio transfer if you'd want to listen to it. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to give you these short clips because I do think this is fascinating. Okay, yeah, here's the second side, which is Rainbow on the River. If I could ever learn how to track a record properly. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can tell. The reason I'm having such a hard time tracking this the grooves go absolutely right to the edge. There's like no lead in at all. There, that should be good. That's an amazing find. Um, this is definitely the radio station copy of... Um, it's not clear to me if this is a live recording from the radio station or if it's just the radio station's copy of this commercially released song. If you know any details about this or anything that may make this more interesting, please let me know. I'd love to know more about this, but uh, yeah, there's a recording from child star Bobby Breen at the age of eight in 1936. You know what, guys? I can't decide if this is right or wrong to do. If, if, there, if there's anything wrong about doing this, but I, I'm just going to include a clip of this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you object to me doing this, and I'll take this video right down and re-edit it, but, uh, it's really nothing personal that gets said. It's just a cute little interview with a semi-anonymous seven-year-old girl. Her name is Sharon, but we don't know anything more than that. Don't have any family names, don't have any personal information getting said, so 
I'm just going to show you this because it's just too good to pass up. Sounds much worse than the last one, though. Wow, I'll throw some subtitles on there to let you know what she's saying. I lied. She did say her last name, but I'll just bleep that right out. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe me hearing that last name, which I, I personally, even without blurring it out, I, I, can, I just can't tell what, what, what's being said. But if I can discern what is being said there, um, I will uh, do my very best to try to see if I can't contact someone. And that record uh, would definitely sound better through the appropriate needle. That one, I think I could be able to discern what is being said a little bit better once I do get that new needle. I've just spent so much money on Christmas that I haven't gotten around to getting one. Um, I, I, I used to have a needle, but it uh, got old. Um, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I just thought I'd show you guys those two little... I don't know if they're one of a kind or not. That one from Sharon certainly is. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you those videos. Uh, let me know if you have uh, uh, any interesting information about that Bobby Breen record. Or, like I said, if you have any problems with uh, with me sharing that record of, of, of Sharon. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for this episode. Check out the description. Um, I, I'm also a professional musician. Uh, myself, so in the description are a, l are, are a full list of all my upcoming concert dates as well as links to where you can find my music where it is uh, sold or streamed online. Uh, you can like this video if you liked what you saw, subscribe to this channel if you've been enjoying my videos, and uh, you, can ring uh, whew, you can ring the notification bell if you would like to be notified every single time I upload a new video, which should be tomorrow and most days for the foreseeable future. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you again with another new video again tomorrow. See you then.